Hey guys, this video is going to be about oil. I know it sounds kind of boring, but I wanted to share with you this other oil I found. Now before I get started, I'm not going to recommend this for newer equipment. It's still under warranty because of the ratings of it. If you look on this other oil I've been using, SNSM or SL oils, this is CF2CF. Now what this is, what makes it so different, it's diesel engine oil. And I've been wanting to try it forever. Because I've been using standard HD30 for a long time. This is cheaper stuff here, and it tends to break down more. Because you'll see here in a little bit, when I drain the oil out of it, it comes out about like water almost. And, of course, I know just about any oil will thin out quite a bit when it's hot like that. But a small engine runs almost twice as hot as like a vehicle engine, because they're air-cooled and not water-cooled. So I figured this diesel engine oil will help with that quite a bit. Because diesel engines run a lot hotter than regular gasoline engines, so... I figure it might be a, a perfect oil for small engines. Like I said, I'm not going to recommend it for anything that's under warranty. Because uh, anything under warranty, you got to use what the manufacturer recommends. But if something ever happens, it'll uh, they can actually test the oil and find out that it's not what was in it. And uh, But if you have an older engine that might smoke a little bit every now and then, this might be worth trying. And you can see it's T1 straight grade SAE 30. Heavy duty diesel engine oil. So I'm going to go ahead and get the mower started, it's a 12 horse brig, flathead. Go ahead and get it started and warmed up real good. And we'll change it out and put the new in. Alright, it should be pretty warm. It's been running about 10 15 minutes wide open like that. I always loosen the cap, it makes it drain faster. The oil's probably pretty dirty in it. I got this motor a couple years ago. I still ain't put the video up on it with the old start of this. Yeah, she's pretty hot. I always want to be careful, you don't want to get burnt doing this. You watch how this comes out. A lot of water. See how it's filling up the pan? And that's 30 weight, HD 30. You can see, just a lot of water. Let me get that drain and we'll put the fresh in. Alright, got it all drained, Gary put the new oil in. You can tell it's pretty thick, a lot thicker than the other stuff I've been using. So we'll go ahead and fill it up. This one takes a quart and a half. One thing I don't like about a big jug, you gotta keep an eye on it more than what you're putting in it. As you can tell it's pretty thick stuff. So we'll get right back to you after I get it filled up. Alright guys, it's a year later since I made the last part of the video. And I just ran this motor for about a half an hour here, getting getting the oil real good and hot. And uh, we're going to drain out that diesel oil and see uh, see how much it thinned out compared to the regular uh, 30 weight I've been using. And uh, remember I'm using Rotella Shell T1 straight grade 30 weight. So now we're going to do a direct comparison here. And uh, that motor's pretty hot right now touch the block and you can get burned on that block right now so it's pretty hot oil well, still pretty clean in it because uh, I ain't, uh, ain't used as much as I usually do I got the green bar going too I've been switching back and forth to uh, wearing them even still pretty thin but It don't seem to be poured out like a, that other oil does, though, does it? It's still pretty thin. Of course, any oil is going to get thin, but it just seemed like that other oil ran out like water. And you can see before it was just chuggling out. 
but uh, like I said the oil is still pretty clean and I don't know how many hours it has on it but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put fresh oil in anyway since I'm draining it out and uh, uh, but yeah it's, uh, it's definitely a little thicker than the other oil but uh, when you put it on your fingers there it still feels like oil I mean the other stuff almost felt like just like a like a water or something on there and this you can actually you can kind of feel the film it makes you know so you know you're getting more protection it's kind of hard to explain what I'm talking about there but you can just get like a slicker feeling when you do it than you can with the cheaper roll so uh, but yeah I just want to do a little follow up here on this after I, a whole year on that and I couldn't see making more than one video so I just waited until I did this and also I noticed the mower ain't smoking quite as much as it did when you first started up with this oil and just because it's not thinning out as much so it's it's definitely a better quality oil for a small engine next thing I want to try is ATV oil for four wheelers and motorcycles I want to try that out next and see how well it does so uh if you guys got any questions or comments, leave a comment below and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching.